Okay, stop the Saturday morning chores and check out this little guy. He started swinging golf clubs at just two years old and now at the ripe old age of five. His life is far from being par for the course. Photojournalist Mike Kenny introduces us to Duke Burtwistle, part prodigy. This is Rory McElroy. This is Scotty Shuffler. Golf is, is everything Rory's for Duke Burtwistle. This is Tiger Woods and this is Duke Callaway. That's you. Yeah, that's me. The little five-year-old from Argyle has big dreams for his future, and he isn't shy about sharing them. I want to be a pro and be on TV, like like I like I am right now. That's another good one. His mom, Emily Burt Whistle, says Duke's love of golf is a natural-born talent. No one in our family had ever golfed, like anyone, extended family, like. Nobody had. He's never had lessons. He's like all natural, taught, self-taught. The self-taught prodigy is a typical curious kindergartner. And he just so happens to have a fitting name for the sport. And ironically, his middle name is Callaway. Duke has competed in tournaments since he was three, earning the nickname the Duke of Clubs after hitting this hole in one. One shot. He was just three and a half at the time. This is my horn one ball. This is my scorecard right there. And this is me with my horn one picture. A picture doctor said would never happen. Duke was born premature. At one week old, they found a brain bleed on his left side. A week later, another on the other side. Each week brought more bad news. Week three, an ultrasound revealed a life-changing diagnosis. We were told when we were given that hydrocephalus diagnosis as well that he would never walk, talk, or breathe on his own. And so most parents expect more brain surgeries than birthdays with their kids. Hydrocephalus is a buildup of spinal fluid on the brain. It creates pressure that can cause neurological and physical issues that usually require surgery. But Duke is hard, like... One in a lifetime miracle. A, a miracle more rare than a hole in one. Duke does not have a shunt and he never had a reservoir tapping as an infant, which is another way to drain fluid. And he has no comorbid diagnoses. He has no neurological diagnoses, no motor physical diagnoses, no social emotional diagnoses. Um, he has no diagnoses related to his brain bleeds either. He's a walking, talking miracle. Swing through, baby. There you go. Golf has been such a huge piece of his therapy journey in a way that I didn't realize that's what it was doing. And the more I like thought about it and watched it happen and watched him grow because of it and how much of like, especially like that 95% chance of him being paralyzed on his left side and then he's a left-handed golfer. like. It's hard to not just sit there and go, how? How did that happen? Golf is pretty amazing for me. I had brain bleeds when I was a baby, and that makes me healthy. His three-year-old brain scan, his neurosurgeon saw the right side of his brain starting to fill in, which just at that age isn't possible. Like, it just doesn't happen. But that was because he had been playing golf with his left hand, and it was starting to fill in. The Burt Whistles now work with the Hydrocephalus Association to raise money and awareness for research. It's always fun to take him to the range and see all the guys' reactions, like, how old is he? What is he doing? So, yeah, it's a good time. It's, it's a nice way, too, to be able to share his story for me when I have him out there and um, be able to spread awareness about hydrocephalus and, you know, just fill people in on how cool he is. Because they already think he's cool when they watch him and then just get to share a little bit more about it. The Duke of Clubs keeps on swinging and dreaming of the pros. Oh, come on. Yeah! Mike Kinney, CBS News, Texas. Good job, buddy.